For more now on this, let's bring in France 24's Claire Pacquelin, who's in the 12th arrondissement of Paris. Claire, you've been talking to striking garbage collectors this morning. What have they had to say? I was speaking to a woman uh, earlier on today. She was a street cleaner and a rubbish collector. And she said at the age of 47 years old, she does have severe back problems, which she blames on the job. She says the repetitive actions that she did while she was collecting rubbish and cleaning the streets has had a severe impact on her health. And she's not alone. She says that many of her colleagues reached their retirement age, which at the moment is 57 for rubbish collectors and they are already suffering from health problems so pushing that back by another two years which is what the government would like to do she said is unacceptable and um, she told me that she would be protesting in paris later on today with her colleagues and that she's proud that going on strike as rubbish collectors really is something that you can see and feel and, and smell, to be honest with you. I mean, the pile of rubbish that you can see behind me is a typical scene in various parts of the French capital at the moment. I'm telling you, I'm not going to get too close because I'm concerned there might be a family of rats in there and the smell is pretty prominent. And what's interesting is that these rubbish collectors tell me that up until now, their job was kind of in, in the back scenes. It was, it was behind the curtains. They worked through the pandemic and they were just, you know, there, but no one really knew or understood or was aware of what they were doing. And in some ways, they, the risks they put themselves under in order to provide this service, exposing themselves to the virus during the pandemic and now their health conditions. Of course, the government said this reform is necessary across sectors, across industries. The government says it needs to raise the retirement age by two years in order for French people to pay more and longer into the pension system to keep it afloat. Right. And Claire, this really is a crucial week for that reform, as despite the months of protests against it, it could actually get pushed through this week in Parliament. Tell us about that. Well, today is a big day, of course, on the streets, but it's also a very big day politically. But behind closed doors, there is a special commission meeting. Seven senators and seven members of parliament are discussing, debating, hashing out now, trying to hash out a compromised bill that both houses of parliament can agree on. If they manage to do that today, tomorrow that revised bill will go to the Senate and then to the National Assembly, the lower house of parliament, which always has the final word in French politics. The National Assembly has the final word compared to the Senate. Now, there's no guarantee that the government's reform will get through the National Assembly. Right now, it doesn't have an absolute majority. It's hoping to rely on votes from the right wing Les Républicains party, but there's no guarantee it will get that through tomorrow when we expect it, this revised bill, to go again to vote in the National Assembly. Claire, thank you for that. France 24 is Claire Pecolin.